Good morning, magandang umaga po. In our episode today, I'm going to show you a clip about Communist Chinese Communist Party CCP and also about our indebtedness to China. What are the dangers? And I am broadcasting this thing for the benefit of the Filipino people to please be very careful not only for the Philippines but also for the US. US and Philippines are now getting into this trend so we have to make sure we US and, and the Philippines and other countries as well do not turn into communism. Stay with me that's what I'm going to show you. The first clip I'm going to show you is from Huckabee, where he's interviewing a former Chinese citizen, communist, and she narrates her experiences about communism. This is a short clip, probably about five minutes or so. Got to come out to tell my stories. I don't want to relive. China, I don't want to relive. Another cultural revolution. I was a little girl when my memory started, about four or five years old. It was a horrible sight when I witnessed a man jump into a 20 feet deep community well Years later, I was told he committed suicide because he could not handle the tremendous pressure and the torture, public shaming from the struggle sessions where Mao divided people into oppressor versus oppressed group. Sounds familiar? Yes. Well, I feel it is very, very un sim similar to always, always divide people. So Mao divided not just oppressor versus oppressed, but he put five black classes under the oppressor group and the five red classes under the oppressed groups. So you got 10 classes of Chinese. Well, we're Chinese, speak the same language, you want to live in peace, but he wanted you to fight each other, hate each other, and indoctrinate our children to turn on, on their neighbors, their teachers, their professors and their family members. So that's just a horrible thing to think about against the humanity. See, lots of young people don't know when they kind of glorify socialism and communism in this country. Today's China, they call the second largest economy in the world. You have one party dictatorship. You have all the governors, mayors, all the court judges, and. Everybody is not elected by people. That's why if there's some bad things happening, nobody cares because they're appointed by the boss, up line, but are not elected by people in your local communities. They don't care. They will cover up because they might get fired if some bad news happens. You see covert cover up. You see the last time, most recently, the June, July, the flooding cover up. The numbers were always, always uh, very, very small, it's always good news, and they don't talk about what normal people's sufferings are every day. And then our media, main media, sometimes repeat their official numbers. They never ask a CCP, what are your real number last year from the COVID, from the deaths? And, and now it's like lockdown anytime, push you to get a vaccine, push you to wear a mask, and push you to stay home, lock your community gates, barn you know, with the soldiers and the guards. And I'm just so sad to say we are going after the Chinese style authoritarian regime in the whole world, not just the United States now. It's like Australia, Europe. How about the human beings' dignities? How about our privacy? How about our freedom? Are we supposed to have constitutional rights given to us by God, our creator, not by any government? I have been going to schools, middle school, high school, and colleges to teach people about horrors of communism, horrors of cultural revolution. Our kids in America, they've like never heard of a real true stories. When I tell them my personal stories, like 
I cannot wear this beautiful dress because it was banned. They were like, what, really? You have to have a dress code? I mean, do you like my dress? I can't wear everything. <laughs> <laughs> it was banned. It was banned because Mao used cultural revolution to say, get rid of four old. Old culture, ideas, habits, and customs. Then the red guards used by him go door to door to burn, to loot, to rob. So everybody have to burn or hide their stuff. They cannot have this. It's kind of very scary to see similar things happening here. They, they can't take lawlessness. So I truly believe that, uh, you know, I understand business people, they want to focus on profit making, but they got to understand that the billionaires, private company billionaires, they don't have a political freedom to criticize government. Look at Jack Ma, Alibaba CEO, forced to retire, sell his company, paying fine, cannot even list in Hong Kong or in the United States. No matter how much money you have in the world, if you don't have free speech, freedom of thought, freedom to assemble, freedom to criticize your government, you are not a free being, free human hmm. being. Look at what is happening in China. It's really bad. People are getting locked in their homes. They nail the door. They put fencing. They cannot get out. It's terrible. People were dying. Millions were being cremated. And look at the number of deaths they report. Zero. And because of that, wow, they're able to enter the Philippines. Whereas United States is closed because we report the real numbers. That is just on the reporting side. But on the reality side, it is terrible. Now, what is happening here in the U.S.? Republicans, Democrats, they're fighting each other. They're being separated. The Democrats claiming that the Republicans are racist, the, the Republicans are claiming the Democrats are racist, etc., etc. That is just the first step. The first step to communism. Then, when there is now somebody who is in control, that's why you have to be very careful about your government. That is when socialism gets introduced that eventually turns into communism. Communism. And you can see this person who escaped communism coming to the U.S. And now she's seeing that the U.S. is now turning into the communist flavor. Oh, wow. That is sad. That is sad. So I just want to uh, warn both the Philippines and the U.S. In the Philippines, we have so-called management by intimidation. Some people were saying in my vlog, you're going to get killed. By whom? I assume you guessed right. By whom? Management by intimidation. Look at what's happening now with the investigation of this corruption in the Philippines. The parties in power who is defending Duque, instead of welcoming the investigation saying, okay, you're doing a good job, guys. Go ahead and investigate. No, they're turning it around. Turning it around. By saying, oh, this is all political mumbo-jumbo and so forth and so on. They seem to be getting nervous. So I can't understand it. If they are really, meaning the present administration in the Philippines now, if they're really against corruption, why are they behaving the way they are behaving? They keep on coming back with arguments like, well, look at Marcos or Aquino, they did this and they did that. Tell me, are you not corrupt? By asking this question, they themselves are pointing the finger on them. Yes, I am just corrupt as you are. But the point is this, if you're speeding in a highway, well, there are hundreds of you speeding, the cop catches you, pulls you over, can you say, well, look, I'm running at 100, but look at those guys also. Mm -mm, too bad. You got a ticket because you got caught. You got caught. So the fact that other people are doing the same thing, it's no excuse for you to do the same thing. 
Some people were saying that on my blog also, on my comment, on the uh, comment section. They say, well, do you think U.S. is any better than us? My answer is no. Unfortunately, no. But it's no excuse for you to do the same thing that U.S. is doing. I am also against the U.S. on some of the policies. So, I thought I'll show this and share this with you in case you have not seen it yet because it's alarming what's happening. On my next video, I'm going to talk about the debt trap. I don't want this video to be too long because people generally don't want to watch anything longer than 10 to 20 minutes. So I'm making this into two ep episodes. The next video I'm going to show will be talking about that trap. So please do share this with your friends, relatives who are going to be voting this year. So they elect the right president and right senators and right congressmen. Do not be swayed by saying, I'm going to use the U.S. term, Democrat, I am Republican, vote for the people you believe are, have their mind set in the right direction. Vote by people, don't vote block voting. Of course, if you don't know who the people are, you might as well do the block voting. By that, I mean you look at the platform of, let's say, the Democrats versus the Republican. Now, Philippines I'm not familiar with. All I know is the present administration, and then because they call me the Dilawin, I assume their competitor is the Dilawin. I don't care about those political affiliations. I care about what they say they're going to do, what they're presently doing, and what I'd like to see being done. That's it. No politics. So, it's hard to say no politics when I'm talking politics, right? But the point is, my focus is on the people and the event, not on the parties. Okay? So, please do share this with other people and I'll appreciate it if you click like and do subscribe to my channel unless you have already done so. Thank you very much and make it a great day.